Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey everybody, <clears throat> uh, wanna do a video for you on a risk strategy for scaling lines. And I'm gonna do this in relation to small caps, okay? Because a lot of what we do is we talk about scaling lines in MIC and, and most of that strategy is performing the proper technical analysis. But even more so is choosing the right risk strategy for yourself while you are practicing. So one of the things that I did while I was working on my technical analysis and the lines and areas that I chose, I followed Bao's process, uh, looked at the three months, six months, one year, two year charts on the stock and used bigcharts.com just to get the whole and half dollar levels to get the idea of where I wanted to short uh, or buy, whatever it was. And so I used the process, right? But here's the one thing that I started to do differently when I transferred to large caps, but it also uh, translates into small caps because part of why it is so difficult for you to shake out bow in a trade is because he doesn't use a, a stop loss like a risk level that most of the people will use. He's talked about this several times. He doesn't pick the normal levels that the average trader chooses. So I'm going to show you how to do something very similar to that. And this is what I do in large caps. If you guys have watched that video, you know my strategy that I'm going to tell you right now further here. So let's use an example. And I'm going to show you how this will work. So let's look at DRIO. Okay. On day one of DRIO, this is the chart. So really what puts this on watch is when it makes it to 1180. At 1180, at this point up here, you know, somewhere in between here and here, it hits your scanners, you're on watch, right? So now you're like, okay, this becomes a potential potential trade. I don't know why that's not way over there. There we go. There we go. All right, so then you go in back, you go back and you pull up the three month chart, right? That's what your first step to do is. What is your first line on the three month chart? If you saw it at 1180, your line is probably this 12 line right up here. So now let's dial out a little bit more. So now we've taken note of the $12 line. Let's go to a six month chart. Let's pretend for a second, right? That we're actually not looking at this for a short. Let's pretend that we're looking for a long here, right? So we see it at 1180, it's ran all the way to 1180. What are our support levels in this chart right here? Straight out of the gate, I'm going to say eight, eight fifty, right? Eight dollar line, eight fifty area, and then seven, seven, eight, eight fifty. Those are my support lines. Next, let's go out to a six month chart. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much dial in on this eight, eight fifty line right here in these areas. So eight, eight fifty. And then again below that we had seven and then six. So eight, eight fifty, eight, seven, six. That's our support, right? So if we're looking at this for a long trade to bounce it off of a support line, maybe not to catch the entire we're not trying to make like a dollar a share, four dollars a share, three dollars a share. Ooh, called the bottom. If you guys remember a little quote that Alex said a couple days ago, he said it's really easy to make 10 cents a share three times than it is to make 30 cents a share one time. 
it's so much easier to be right for 10 cents than it is to be right for 30 cents. Now, let's take that into consideration here. Remember our lines, 850, 8, and 7, and 6. Our first line, 850. Second line, 8. Next line, 7. Next line, 6. Don't mentally do it. Put the line on the chart, right? Put the line on the chart. Now, if you were not a short, look at this. Look at this washout long at the open. Look at this. It opens at nearly 950, washes out a dollar. Okay, if you guys also use my rule, if you're using something in this price range, don't enter at a line that is too close, so we're going to put that in quotations, to the open. Okay. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.